Can you give a warm welcome, Dean Feldman? So before I start, I just wanted to give some content warnings of mentions of violence. Um, so welcome students, faculty, staff, trustees, and other members of our college community. To the first year class and transfer students, welcome to the start of a new journey in your first year at Pomona. Today marks the start of a journey that will expose you to wealth of knowledge, differences, constant engagement, and self-reflection. In my experiences, Pomona is a place where more is learned than is thought. Pomona is a place where the abstract becomes human, theory is better understood through the self, and statistics have complex life stories to tell. Pomona is a collection of breathing stories that are anything but single narratives. It is through personal experiences that many of us come to understand the world and one another. And it's through personal experience that we learn how to form community and navigate it. Pomona is an intentional community. You are not here by mistake. You are here because someone saw in you potential to impact the world, but just as importantly, someone saw in you potential to impact Pomona and one another. Pomona is not, and it will never be, a static institution. Pomona is a dynamic legacy of those who enter, walk, and eventually exit its gates. It is crucial to understand that the Pomona that now welcomes you has been shaped by cycles of student organizing, communal learning, student and administration collaboration, and much, much more. The Pomona you will experience will be the product of those who have come before you and of your own engagement. So as a community, I hope that you hold each other when times are tough, but more importantly, that you hold each other accountable to do the work for an always better Pomona. And trust me, you will have plenty of opportunity to do this. Pomona is not an isolated place from the rest of the world. Our ivy walls are not as impenetrable as they once were. In fact, we are the rest of the world. Here at Pomona, some of us come from places and communities that know stability and wealth. However, many of us also come from communities that have experienced violence, poverty, and struggle within this country's borders and beyond. And perhaps many of us will come to know both in our lifetime. Knowledge and experience are powerful. Learning to validate one's lived experiences and reaching over our differences to build a more just and sustainable society and world is not just powerful here. It is a necessity. This requires to reach over and tear down the walls person kind has built over centuries. For those of us who are not very familiar with walls, these exist in many forms. There are empathy walls that prevent us from understanding one another. There are political walls constructed by historical amnesia and cemented by white supremacy. There are ivy walls between our hoods and academia, between a barrio and the American dream that many of our parents were sold but haven't yet found. There are walls between my motherland and where I stand. These walls are both visible and invisible. These walls are constructed by and the result of discriminatory policies, lack of resources in marginalized communities, militarized borders, anti-blackness, xenophobia, trans and queer phobia, anti-immigrant sentiments that are deeply ingrained through structural racism and much more. While some of us have the tremendous privilege to distance ourselves from these walls, many of us will never be able to. For some of us, a discussion on poverty and public assistance programs isn't about economic or political theory. It is about the difference between our families having dinner or going hungry for the night. For some of us, a discussion on police brutality is not grounded on just theory. It is lived and generational trauma. It is the understanding that systems of oppression and anti-blackness exist even in the most liberal spaces. And for some of us, a discussion on immigration and lack of comprehensive policy was never about political affiliation. It was about the legacy of colonialism, neo-imperialism, civil wars, US intervention, and selective historical amnesia. It is about survival in the ways that we are forced to exist in the shadows of anonymity and the fear that we will be sent back to a country that we no longer recognize as home. In this moment and in this room, there are people being impacted by the very issues you will discuss in class over the next few years and even as part of your careers for the many years to come. While it is important we learn theory, it is just as important we learn how to use responsibility 
for the power we hold by merit of being here. After all, thoughts become actions, and while actions become institutions. Ideology and biases become international policy. It becomes Joe or Pius crimes against undocumented communities in Arizona and his subsequent party. Demonstrations by white supremacy groups in Charlottesville and throughout the country. Incredulity about climate change, even in the face of natural disasters such as Hurricane Harvey impacting Texas, and much more. These events are urgent and they deserve acknowledgement and action. Pomona is a place that will help shape the thoughts of future leaders, scholars, artists, and citizens. Pomona is home to daring minds and hearts. Pomona is home to dialogue that can be respectful, intentional, nuanced, and productive. Pomona is a place where thoughts become actions and where we become each other's best lesson. There's much to do in the world, and there's much to do within our own community, and I urge you to engage in that work in any way that you can or you feel the calling to do. And I know this is a really heavy start of your first day of college, but I, I assure you, you will learn how to transform knowledge into action. You have fearless leaders who want to guide you if you let them. And before I go, I want to tell you that you all belong here. Some of you always knew that you were going to college and you always put in the work and you are here. Congratulations. I hope you make the most of this experience. For those of us who worked hard to be here, but had to navigate the lack of resources, being the children of immigrants who were unfamiliar with this country's education system, you belong here. For those of us who are the first in our families to be here, in an institution of higher learning, you belong here. And for those of us who are anxiously waiting news on the future of the Fred Action for Childhood Arrivals, we belong here. Thank you for being here with me and with each other.